intro because i um for some reason don't know how to play oh no oh no i spilled juice on my computer i spilled juice on my computer you fuck you dirty fuck what's up everyone welcome to live mixing today's gonna be somewhat of a quick one um reason being is i have some oh my god i'm a mess i got some fucking juice on my titty here i got juice on my laptop not at the office oh god things aren't going so well right now uh i need to move this as well yeah as you can see i'm not at my office i am home on my laptop so hopefully this goes well uh i don't even have any any mixing gear really so we're not going to be doing any mixing unfortunately i will make it up to you guys though I'm probably going to do something during the weekend uh, similar to this. Uh, I just can't do it tonight because I have some stuff I need to get done. Um, so let's just jump into it. Let's just jump into it. What is up, everyone? Happy Fridays, man. Happy Fridays. Weekend coming up. Let me get a napkin really quickly. Alright. I didn't realize I spilled juice everywhere, man. You know what it is? It's these bottles with these caps. I'm noticing that they just spill all the time. Like, if you can see, I don't know if you can, but all, like, in these crevices, it's just juice everywhere. And then in these caps, it's just shitloads of juice. In fact, I'm probably never going to buy these bottles again. And I have a lot of them. I think I bought like a hundred of them. I bought a lot. So I'm gonna when I'm done with them, I'm probably never gonna buy them again. They just leak for some reason. I'm not exactly sure how or why, because I pay close attention to it leaking. Uh, I also have a new mod here, the Snow Wolf. Uh, the Snow Wolf. I'm not sure, but it's got like a touch screen. Um, reason being is because. My uh, Sigeli 213 died, unfortunately. It just like, I saw the screen, like I pressed the fire button and I saw the screen just fade away. And it would still fire, but the screen wouldn't turn on. Uh, so I figured, let's just chalk it up to a loss, go buy a new one. Um, so I think I'm done buying pretty expensive mods. I think when it comes to mods, I'm just going to go for whatever is cheap, whatever has... Uh, the specs I'm looking for, like I wanted specifically a dual 18.615 mod, 18.650 mod, um, and it had to go at least up to 100 because I, this is like the mod that I'm going to use to like rip it. You know, I have these mods here, which are used for like just kind of like dainty vaping, you know, kind of like I don't need crazy power, but I do want a mod with a lot of power that's not a mech, and this is the mod that I chose. It's actually, it's pretty nice. It's got some girth to it. It's got some heavy, uh, it's got some, like, uh, density to it. Um, it's structured really nicely. I like how it's a all-glass touchscreen. This is pretty cool. Like, it's locked right now. But the way you unlock it is you kind of just swipe your finger across it. Or actually, you have to press it three times. To lock it, you just swipe your finger across it, and that locks up. The problem that I can see happening, one, is that Juice is going to get into this button and short out this mod. That seems to be the problem with all my mods. And two is this screen cracking because I drop my mods a lot. Um, I drop my mods. Oh, wait, I, I want to lock it. 
I drop my mods like this a lot. Like the the higher higher end stuff, I keep pretty well. Uh, like I pay close attention to it. But these kind of mods, I drop a lot. So I have a feeling this screen is just not gonna live up to its full lifespan. It says I'm clipping. I'm clipping bad. My audio is fucked. Is it just clipping or is it just full audio? Is it just my audio? Sorry, I didn't see that. I wasn't paying attention to you guys. What if we turn this off? Uh, oops. Let's just destroy that. How's that? Is that better? Is my audio better now? Um. How's the, how's the mic now? Is the mic now better? I turned it down a little bit. I just turned the gain off. Are we good now? I know we're on the delay. I'll wait. I'll wait for the answer. All right, we're good. All right, cool. Where was I at? Oh yeah. I don't know. This is a pretty cool mod. It does all types of different like uh, temp control things that I'm probably never gonna use. I just run it in power. Um, and it's a nice color. Like it does. It does look nice. It's in that Dallas Cowboys blue and silver, right? Blue, silver, white. I like it. Nice for Sundays. So I'm hype on that. Um. Damn, man. I don't know what's going on. All, all my mods are dying these days. This one died. This is a gorgeous mod. It's a nice, gorgeous setup. Dead, right? This one died. This was my favorite one. My favorite all-day vape. Motherfucker. Dead. The 213 died. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's, maybe it's me. Maybe it's the mods. I don't know. Um, all right. Well... If you haven't been to live mixing before the first half of the show, I answer questions. So any questions that you have about mixing, feel free to ask me. Make sure you tag me at DIY or Die Vaping. That way I can see it. Or actually, it's just at DIY or Die. Uh, if you tag me at DIY or Die, it'll show up like that. And I'll be able to see your question very easily. So I, see, I saw some stuff here. Steam Room, turn down your mic. Oh, what's up, man? I just commented it on your last video. Um, I don't know if you want me to talk about it because it's pretty personal video, but, uh, if you do let me know, cause I, I would love to just give you my input cause I've been there before, but that's up to you. I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you get into that. How the fuck do you get juice in the button? What do you use it after dungeon? Well, what happens is that like, all right, so the Hadley is known for like leaking, right? So I'll over drip it and then it'll pour out of these holes when I'm not looking and uh, somehow just like leak leak its way onto the button. I, I think, I think that's how it's happening. Um, I saw another question here. Dallas sucks. They're probably going to lose this weekend. Nah, nah, we're going to, we're definitely going to take this win. Definitely going to take this win. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry we can't do a, a real live mixing. Uh, we just can't today. We're just going to have to postpone it. I don't have the time really to jump back and forth. But I promise you, guys, I will make it up. Also, don't forget this week with Wayne aired yesterday. Every Thursday it drops. Also, don't forget again, uh, In The Mix Podcast will be back next Thursday on DIYDiveVaping.com. It will not be on YouTube anymore it'll go back to audio only we're going back to the roots we're doing the things that we used to be doing it's gonna be a fucking grand old time and i can't wait also a lot of people ask me like why am i doing it that way there's a lot of reasons why one is that it's easier on guests it's easier to get a guest and tell them don't worry it's it, i know it's late at night you know you might be home in your pajamas you don't want to be dressed up on on camera in front of like a few hundred people so it's easier on guests um, it's easier on obviously the host because we don't really need to worry about keeping up appearances. Um, 
also the fact that it's I can do it here and it'll still sound good it'll still be good and I won't need to be at my office super late at night uh, another reason is is just that podcasts like audio only offer like a much stronger theater of mind um, meaning like you can kind of you, it kind of leaves a lot more up to your imagination and I think that allows us to get away with more stuff it allows us to get away with like heavier jokes it allows us to get away with just more adult content um, and I just think it's overall just a better idea you know I, I, I loved doing it back in the day and I want to get back to that when we could just turn on the mic you know, turn on the mic, turn on, I'm, I'm trying to do this without showing my address, turn on the mic, uh, and then just start ripping into whatever conversation we're going to get into. And I want to get back to that, you know, dude, wonderfully, res they're, they're sending me like these packages that are like made of fiberglass, it's like getting into my lungs. So we got a ton of new wonder flavors in, let's check them out, just check them out, I haven't seen them yet. But this is part of their new super concentrate line. Let's take a look, see what we got here, see if there's anything interesting. Shout out to Wonder Flavors. Shout out to Frank. Frank is a good dude, good company. I explained to him already that, privately explained to him that these bottles gotta go. Uh, I really hope he takes my advice. I really hope he takes my advice. That's all I can say about that, you know. I, don't, I can't force the guy to do it, but I'm sure if enough people said, hey, get rid of these fucking terrible bottles, then he would have no choice, to be honest. Oh my god. This package just made a huge mess. I think that's it. All right. That looks, that looks nice. Very nice. I got a little, I got a little, uh, got my fly down. Ah, the old insulated Wonder Flavors packages. Wash your hands with cold water after opening it. <laughs> exactly. You don't have to lie. People were turned off by seeing Gollum on video every week. <laughs> yeah, these bottles. These bottles, it, it, it's a, it's like half vial, half bottle. It's just terrible. And they're wrapped in tape. Ugh, man. No. No, 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 no. Get real bottles that everyone else uses. I mean, it, they, while they look nice, it's like they're so impractical. Everyone mixes with, with volume these days. So you got to do it. So we got crepe. White fudge. Ooh, I'm interested in that. White fudge. Also, I know that Wonder Flavors creates their own flavors. Which I which I, I think we we all had a bunch of questions about that about that. Are they are they doing like a DIY flavor shack thing? Are they uh, actually formulating their own stuff? Are they just repackaging stuff? They are reformulating their reformulating their own stuff. Formulating their own stuff. Wow, white fudge actually smells like white fudge. I'm excited about these Wonder Flavors things. I got sweetener. I'm interested in that one. Cocoa, crispy wafer, grenadine, buttercream frosting, gallia melon, frozen yogurt. I wonder if that means it has culotta or something in it. Frozen yogurt. Wow, that smells fucking phenomenal. Man, I wish I was at my office, we could try these out. Pistachio, cream, black cherry jelly bean. I know Graham was talking about this one. And tangerine. All right, cool, I'm, a, I'm pumped on these. I'm pumped on these. I don't know, if have you guys tried them? All? Have you guys tried Wonder Flavors at all yet? If not, I highly suggest the uh, Checking them out, man. They're pretty dope. Extracted was really good this week. Also, probably one of the best you've ever done. Yeah, let's talk about... Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. I'm going to bring up all the news for the week in a minute. 
show us why the bottles suck. They're just like this. And there's no, like, it's just, you know what I mean? It's just, you gotta, you need a syringe. They don't offer you, like, um, spout caps or anything. So you need a syringe to use them, which is terrible. Have you got a really good banana custard recipe? I've tried a couple, but haven't found anything good yet. Um, I know that there's a few good ones on uh, illiquidrecipes.com. I don't remember the names of them, but basically you just want a good custard base and then throw in any banana that you like and then add caramel to it. The caramel is really going to help your, your recipe out. All right, let's move on to some of the news here. News of the week. Um... Give me one second to uh to figure out how to do this on my laptop. I'm just so ill prepared, huh? I'm just so ill prepared. We're gonna have to do a window capture, right? Window capture and then uh, that. Yeah, there we go. And then we go to transform, fit the screen. And then we can kind of do one of these bad boys here. Pull this out a little bit. Oh, too much. That oh, looks good there. I'm gonna have to do one of these bad boys here. Come on. Why won't it let me? No, right. whatever. Whatever, dude. All right, so first off, go check out... Sorry, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get it loading. Let's get it loading. All right. First off, go check out the new uh the latest noted episode it's awesome they bring on fear they talk about shit loads of fucking they bring on shit loads talk about shit loads of tobaccos aromatic tobaccos uh and it's probably one of their best episodes it was an excellent excellent episode i was super hype on it go check that out also, go check out this article that I've written. If you're a member, this, is a, this article is only for members. So non-members are going to get a little sneak preview here. But this is an article called The Deep Steep, right? And it's about steeping your liquids longer than like 6 months, 12 months, 2 years. How does your e-liquid get affected in that amount of time? And should we account for that? Should we account for steeping your e-liquid longer than six months, longer than a year, longer than two years? Um, now, a lot will say, you know, most e-liquid on the market, like commercial e-liquid, should pretty much be sold and, and they pretty much should have an expiration date of about a year. And I pretty much agree with that. Any e-liquid that's over a year is either going to just lose it, a lot of its flavor, a lot of its aroma from just just the mere fact of it kind of seeping out or it's um or it's just like the way that the recipe kind of the way the chemistry kind of works in the recipe just diminishes its flavor but 
should we account for that? Should we account for those six months to up to a year, maybe even two years? And is it a bad recipe if your recipe kind of falls apart after six months, after a year, especially in DIY? Because we know like simple recipes, they can last pretty goddamn long, right? They can last pretty fucking long. And uh, that's one of the perks of a simple recipe, but a very complex and intricate recipe, can it hold up against the test of time? And we're talking a deep, steep, a deep time. I personally believe that it depends on how you vape. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm someone who's not keeping a bottle of e-juice around for more than a month. I just don't store things away. I don't vape that way. When I mix something up and I like it and I vape it, it's usually vaped within a month. So I try to keep my steep times within that time period, whether it's a two-week steep, a three-week steep, maybe a month steep. Um, rarely ever it's a month steep but maybe a month steep that's generally my time frame i'm not looking to do it to mix something up hold it for three four months and then vape it some people are and if you're one of those people then check out the article because it's 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 pretty eye-opening you know you it, there's a lot of different variables that go into a deep steep that go into how the flavors kind of sit within the vg or how they kind of expel out of the solution and can kind of mess your shit up so one of the uh, ingredient, one of the recipes that I talked about was my blue nuts recipe, and how pretty much after six months it kind of falls apart. The recipe kind of gets muted, and things kind of just it just doesn't have that vibrance. It doesn't have that sparkle. It doesn't have that same energy that it brings after a week or after just a shake. Um, and you know, technically. I didn't look for it like that. I, 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 should I put an expiration date of like six months on that recipe? Should recipes have expiration dates? I don't know. I don't know that answer. And I kind of left it a little bit open-ended. And I, I gave a, a, a personal answer. I think personally that it, it doesn't really matter. It, it, as long as you know that you're the type of vapor that you are, that's how you should look at your steep times. So someone like myself, I'm not going to look to develop a recipe and steep it six months and then tweak it from there. I would get nothing done. You, There would be no DIY or die. It would just be all us sitting here waiting for my e-liquids to steep, right? And you can't make your steep work for you in that amount of time frame. It would take years, but maybe some do. You know, I, I'm not sure. I know commercial developers, they keep a lot of their profiles very simple because they're sitting on shelves, because they're in inventory, because they're in a, a warehouse. You know, they're sitting for a while and they need to, they're just naturally steeping. So they look for more simple profiles so they can take advantage of that steep and allow it to just bloom in that time frame. Because there's certain, there's certain recipes that just get better with more time, no matter what. Maybe an expiration date of a year, maybe an expiration date of two years, and then they kind of start to fall back down. But, you know, if you're just taking like apple or, you know, uh, strawberry or mango, you mix it up and you just put it on a shelf, it's just going to get better, especially when you're using 15, 20, 25% flavoring, uh, two, 3% sweetener. It's just going to get more vibrant. It's going to get more potent. It's going to get more sticky. Um, and, you know, we can have that luxury in DIY, but most of us kind of shake and vape. We, shit, we, we mix a recipe up, shake it up, vape it, move on to the next. And we kind of plan our steeps out according to the time frame that the flavorings, uh, that the recipe contains the flavor the recipe that the the flavorings that the recipe contains so say like i'm making a roi4 cookie right i just know that tfa roi4 double is going to need about two weeks to really fully steep i know that uh capella sugar cookie needs a couple days i you know that's how we plan our steeps we don't actually wait uh you know the two three weeks to tweak them you know we'll, we'll let maybe sit a couple days but we, ha we have things to do. We have more recipes to develop. And uh, we try to make our, our steeps work for us. So it's an interesting article. And it brings up a lot of interesting questions. And I think you guys should go check that one out uh, if you're a member. If you're not a member, think about picking up a membership. Because uh, we're rocking and rolling on members, baby. Next article that I have here is the new K-Fun stuff. I wanted to talk about that with you guys. Any questions so far? I have an ego AIO and bought 0.5 coils, but I'm still waiting for them to arrive. Should I invest in an RDA mod in your or in DIY juice? If you only have an AIO, 
I highly suggest that you get a mod in RDA first and then move on to DIY juice. DIY juice, in my opinion, should be your end game. That should be your last thing that you get into with vaping. Learn how to build coils, learn how to do wicking, learn about battery safety, all that kind of stuff before you get into DIY juice because it's far more complicated. Making e liquid is far more complicated than any of that stuff. Sup man, big fan from South Africa, I have a problem. I'm making a lemon cream cookie juice, but my fruit circles concentrate is a bit rough on the throat. Anything I could do to turn it down? Yeah, you introduce some marshmallows. Um, just some fruit circles are just harsh on people. Some people just have really just a sensitivity to citrix. Hey Kate, say hi to the internet. Why is the internet here? <laughs> the internet is here, it's not at the office. I know. Say hi. Baby. Say hi. <laughs> Just give a wave. All right. So, yeah, yeah. I would try marshmallows, maybe some other creams, to try to tone that down. Uh, but you might just be one of those people who are just super sensitive to those profiles, you know. All right. Let's look at this new cave one here. Um. It went on sale today. Let's see if it's still even available. Let's see if it's available. Don't worry, Kate, it's gonna be a short one. I got some stuff to do. Oh my God, get out of here. No one wants to see you. No, Stop it. Totally miss me. We're looking at the K-Fun. All right, so this is, uh, let's look at this bad boy. K-Fun Prime, here it is. Everyone's saying hi to you. You're like sweating or something. Yeah, it's hot in here because I had to turn the AC off because it's fucking so loud. Babe, you got the rose gold phone. What are you, a girl? It's not rose gold. Yes, it is. It's, it's pink. regular gold. That is pink. No, it's regular gold. Wait, it's pink. You're blind. You got a pink phone. It's not pink, it's copper. That is pink. All right, I want to look at this. Uh, this deck here. Do the concentrates have an expired date? I don't think that they do. I mean, looking at the Wonder Flavors ones, it doesn't. Uh, yes, it does. I lied. It's it's a. It says 07 2019, so about two years. He gave you about two years, and I, and I think that's, I think that's a a the the standard time frame two years for concentrates, but I would say year, start testing them. If, if your concentrates are a year old, you might just want to replace them, dog. All right, let's look at let's look at this K1. I've been excited about it, and I've been talking about it the last three days now. Um, I know my friend has bought, bought one already. I'm waiting for reviews because we know that the uh, airflow is like one to two millimeters, and that's it. And I don't know if I'm into something that tight. This is kind of like the old K Fun. It's kind of like the K Fun Lite, except with a K Fun 5 build system, which is pretty damn cool, though. Like, I did love the K Fun Lite, and I did love the vape off of it, but I don't vape that way anymore. And I'm not sure if I will want to in the future. Like, it might be fun for like a week, right? But is that worth the asking price of, you know, a hundred bucks? Is that how much it is? I think it's like a hundred bucks. Yeah, it's got the same type of like everything. All right, here's the deck. So you see it's like a little slot and that's the airflow that you get right down there next to the P. It's pretty tight, man. Basically it looks exactly like a K Fun 5, just tighter. And I hate I hate this stainless steel tank thing, man. I think that is so ugly. I do not like it. Give me the glass. Just leave the glass on. And I, it does have a nice design to it, for sure. It does have a nice design. So yeah, go uh, go pick it up. Let's see how much it is. It, go pick it up if you want, if you like that old kind of like 2013 vape. It's 120 uh, euros. So how much is that in USD? 120 euros, so about 140 dollars. 
It's pretty fucking expensive, man. That's pretty expensive. And it looks like it's sold out. Wait, where'd it go? Yeah, it, it looks like it's sold out. Yeah, I don't even think you can get it right now. Yeah, it's sold out, unfortunately. Oh well. Oh well. Let me grab another one later. So this is the extracted episode that the Vaping 101 was talking about. And I agree, this is one of my favorite ones that I've made yet. Now, Extracted is a is a podcast for members only. And um, it's really it's done really well. It's something that I take a lot of time on. Uh, it takes a lot of time to produce this show. It asks a lot more deeper questions about DIY mixing. It gets more into the, the uh, philosophy of art. It gets more into the, the behind-the-scenes tech and science behind mixing. I could play a, uh, I can't because you're not going to be able to hear it. Uh, but if you're a member, definitely go listen to this because the question I asked is, is flavor and aroma really subjective? You know, people always say flavor is subjective, taste is subjective. Now, for the most part, it is, and I talk about why it is. I, I bring on a bunch of different clips and, and explains why it's subjective, but then also why it's also kind of not subjective. A lot of it has to do with genetics. A lot of it has to do with evolution. Uh, a lot of it has to do with just like harm, physical harm to your body. You know, one interesting thing was that since our, our nose, our sense of smell is so closely tied to our memories, people who suffer from memory loss actually have a very diminished sense of smell. And I thought that was really interesting because of the way our our nose kind of takes in aromas and it gets sent up to our our brains. It goes through your limbic system and your limbic system holds your deep memories. Memories that have changed you and have have turned you into the person you are and old emotions and 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 just really deep stuff of, of your character. And that's kind of where your smell passes through so it kind of is really interesting the science behind it's really interesting so go check out the video or i mean the, the podcast if you're a member if you're not a member feel free to head over to the shop diy.vaping.com slash shop to purchase a membership it's only three dollars a month i don't ask for much three dollars a month uh or you can pay yearly however you would like um but yeah i don't know go check it out go check it out i was i was pretty proud of that episode wait till you guys hear the next one you think that one was good the next one's even better What are you guys talking about? Anything? Anything cool? We're really just chilling, guys. We're not really doing much mixing. We probably got another half hour or something to go before we get out of here. Any questions you guys want to ask me? No? All right. We'll keep moving on. So here, um, this week I also tested some Wonder Flavors flavorings. You can go check out that video. I looked at s'mores, cupcake, almond cookie, and angel cake. And I did want to make an annotation. Uh, I spoke to Frank after the article, and he explained to me that this is the new super concentrate line and that I might have used s'mores cupcake, cupcake a little too high. He says anything under 4% is good for these new Wonder Flavors flavorings, and I use it at 5%. But with that being said, I still think it's just that flavor. I'm not a big fan of it. I didn't get much out of the cookie or the cupcake or the graham cracker. I got a band-aid like chocolate to it. But the other two are excellent, the almond cookie and the angel cake. And uh, I'm, they're still steeping, so I'm probably going to try to drip a little bit something else into it and see how they kind of pair up with different ingredients. But I'm pretty pumped on these Wonder Flavors, man. I'm pretty pumped on them. They're actually really like this frozen yogurt, man. It smells so phenomenal. Okay, tell me if this smells like frozen yogurt to you. Froyo. You ever have frozen yogurt? Don't. It's open. Smell the cream. Yeah. Whipped cream. Not Jolly Rancher. Yes. <laughs> We're making progress. Well, I didn't taste it yet. So. <laughs> what does this taste like? How do you do this? So we know. We want to know if it tastes like Jolly Rancher or not. Tastes like black licorice. What? <laughs> what is it? 
It's literally the juice that you've been vaping this whole time. Nah. <laughs> yes, no, it's, it's the same shit, Kate. No, it's not. It's literally the same juice. That dinner lady? No, oh no, it's not the dinner lady. It's something else. All right, moving on. Um, you can go check out my gaming show if you guys are into no. tech and gaming, video games. No. We talked about uh, some some interesting developments coming out of Campo Santo, which makes that Firewatch game. You can go check that out. We, that's our second channel at No Life's Gaming on Twitter. So give us a follow there. We need some help on that no that life. department. No Job. <laughs> it's a place for videos. Yes. When's pick when Pickle Rick arrives, will you get Kate to try it? Yes, absolutely. We'll film that too. What's that? Oh, you'll see. Pickle Rick? Pickle Rick. Yeah, if it's pickle flavored, I don't want it. What? Say that into the mic. If it's pickle flavor, I don't want it. It's not pickle flavor. Why would someone make a pickled recipe? Well, why would they call it pickle rick? It's just a name that they gave it. Because it tastes like pickles. Why would anyone want to vape a pickle? I don't know that you're that's why you want me to taste it because it's probably gross like that <laughs> last one you made me <laughs> and here is uh, my other video this week with wayne this is my new segment that i do every week which is basically a condensed version of this show i talk about usually one recipe i review from the community uh this this week we did a folk art sweet potato pie recipe which is f fantastic i already vaped the whole thing uh, and then uh, I go into my Entheon review, which I absolutely love. The Entheon, here it is. I got it. I got it all dressed up on the JMFD, which looks nice on the purple space colored mod. Did you get your pink phone to match that pink shirt in the picture? It's not pink, Kate. <laughs> God damn it! Your phone is pink. Show them. Yes, stars and clouds creative. I will um, talk about that in a minute. This is the new. Uh, iPhone 8 which is fucking awesome because if you have Sprint you can get this phone for 30 bucks you walk out with this phone a six month subscription of title if you have like a, a, a phone that you bought like a year or two ago you just you just they just swap it out for 30 bucks and it gets added onto your bill um, like it doesn't cost extra it's just instead of paying your other phone you now pay this phone uh, all you do is pay a $30 like down payment and they also have like a bunch of other promotions. We could have upgraded the iPad for free. So why didn't you? Because I didn't want to, I don't know. I wanted to talk to you about it first. I don't know Aww. if you should. Stop. This is my phone, not yours. <laughs> I was going to plug it back in. I don't want you to. Okay. Get away from me. Stop. You're so weird. I hate you. I missed Get you. Get off me. All right. Where are we? Hey, Wayne, what's a good cherry Coke recipe? I... I don't know. I don't know. I can't say I've ever tried a cherry coke recipe. Unfortunately. When are you going to South Africa again? I don't know. Maybe next year. It doesn't matter. It's going to taste like Jolly Rancher anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Philosopher's wife loves pickle Rick. He is so jealous. Yeah, I, 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 I know that a lot of women do like pickles. I don't know why that's like a woman thing. I mean, I like pickles as much as the next guy, but I don't like, I don't like pickles. You know, I'm not gonna say that I that I do. But are you still paying thirty bucks a month at least for that phone? Yeah, you're paying thirty bucks for thirty dollars for the for the lease on on your bill. But you pay that for any phone, you know, unless you outright buy the phone, which is dumb, I think, because you. It's kind of like a new car, right? You want to get a new car every year, so you lease it instead of having to buy it. Sure, you don't own it, but who cares? I don't, I don't care about owning it. So this, you just swap it out, and uh, you just swap it out, really. And you walk out, and they give you a bunch of other shit, like a bunch of other promotions for it. I just wanted to get back to iOS. I, I, I can't believe how shitty Instagram, Facebook. Twitter, all the social media apps are so bad on Android, and I didn't realize how bad they were until I got this iPhone. Verizon does the same thing. The thing with Verizon is that they don't have unlimited data. Or if they do, I don't know, maybe they do now, but they didn't when I had Verizon, and I switched to Sprint because it had unlimited data for so cheap. I think it's like 45 bucks a month. So you pay that plus your phone, 
and you got unlimited data on like a really nice phone and you're not paying so much. Uh, they might have changed it because I'm sure a lot of people have been asking for unlimited data. But I'm I'm a Sprint guy through and through and through, man. I'm happy with with what Sprint hooked me up with. You're paying eight dollars a month for a Samsung S8. What? Fuck that. You're lying to me, dude. You're lying. <laughs> you dare talk about Android? I I liked Android at first because it was new, but it's just slow, dude. It's just not quick at all. I like to just get into my phone, boop, boop, send a text, boom, or, or send a picture to Instagram, or hop on Twitter and, and retweet something, hop on Facebook, respond to someone's post. Instead of Android, you got to, like, get into all these things, and it takes just takes forever. But I'm sure, I'm sure, the, um, <laughs> I'm sure that there's a debate on both sides, right? All right, so this is the new Capella stuff that everyone's talking about. Capella Silver Line. Ba 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 ba. The Silver Line. We got 27 bears and 27 fish with biscuits and black currants with marshmallow and cinnamon sugar. Fruit circles and some butter pecan. Rainbow candy and some blueberry extra. $20. Yeah, it's $20 for the whole 10 pack. Simpler. $20, yeah, it's $20 for 13 mils a bottle. So, yeah, it looks like, it looks like it's, from what I've seen on Facebook, because I haven't spoken to Capella about it yet, but someone says that this is basically their in-house line. So, instead of outsourcing all the raw, in, blah, 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 instead of outsourcing all the raw materials, they are now house making all this stuff, and that's why it's really cheap. That's a fucking deal, dude. 20 bucks for for a 10 pack sampler of of all these flavorings and there are 13 mils each now for some reason nicotine river explained that um and i got the yeah i got the stuff here the images here um let me uh close all this stuff so you guys how do you close your chat? Uh, hide sidebar. Yeah. All right. So now you can see it. So here you can see uh, Nicotine River sent someone an email and said, "Update: We just discovered that Capella's Silver Line is half the strength and is mainly used as an alternative to their Gold Line, and their Gold Line being their normal line that we all use." Uh, but supposedly this is not true, and Capella ha Capella's has come out and said no. The only the only difference is that we're house making it, so use them at whatever percentage you want to use them at. Uh, I would still like just give them a test at like five percent, you know. And if it's too strong, then drop it down. If it's too weak, turn it up five percent. Capella's is pretty much spot on at five percent every time. But if you think about it, ooh, this is a burnt coil. I'm gonna have to change that. If you think about it, that's a huge move for Capella. That is a huge move for Capella. Why? Think about all the commercial companies that use Capella, that use Capella flavorings, tons. Almost every single vendor in the United States is using Capella flavorings to develop their e-liquids. A lot even international. So if they're able to swap out certain ingredients for their own house-made line, that just drives their profits sky high and keeps costs low for, for both them and the vendor. Uh, and I think that's awesome. Now, if you look at like the, some, at the silver line uh, and the flavorings associated, I mean, they don't look too impressive. You know, you got, you got uh, this bear. I guess, I guess this is going to be... A, I don't know what this is. It's supposed to be like teddy bears or uh, what are they called? Okay, these are gummy bears. This is a gummy bear flavor. Gummy fish, gummy fish, Swedish fish, biscuit. I mean, that could be useful. Blueberry, I'm not the biggest fan of their blueberry. Blackcurrant might be useful. Butter pecan for sure. Cinnamon sugar for sure. 
fruit circles. I mean, come on, like these are all basically fucking commercial e-liquids anyway. So if you're a developer and you want to make some cash, you just use one of their house lines, boom, you got yourself a deal, right? So that, that, I'm I'm 100% sure that's why they did that. They're just making tons of money off of vaping and they're just going to keep on doing it, man. They're going to keep on doing it. Me personally, I'm going to continue using their gold line. I have no interest in trying these out. They're really not that much cheaper. What are they, a dollar cheaper? I I don't have any interest in it, but I'll be, I, I am interested in seeing the response and seeing the notes associated because I'm sure someone's going to buy them and, and test them out for us. So I, I am interested in seeing that. I got a unique singing voice. <laughs> All right. So we got about 15 minutes left before I got to get out of here. Do you guys have any other questions? Uh, you guys want to talk about anything else? I don't really know what to talk about right now. So I don't, I'm just so scatterbrained right now because of the fucking stuff. JFM. What's up, JFM? The silver line, how can it be half the strength? All they said is that the aromas were sourced from. Yeah, that's what that's what we're that's what Nicotine River said. I don't know. Not not very sure on why Nicotine River said that. They say a lot of things that are just weird, <laughs> to be honest. Um Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I will say that I'm excited for In The Mix podcast next week, Thursday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Not on YouTube. On the website. Live. Back to audio. I'm excited for it, man. I'm excited to get back to that show. I know uh, I know the crew's excited as well. They're actually more excited than I've ever seen them excited about anything. <laughs> they cannot wait to get back to Thursday night's Hanging with the crew, hanging with the squad, getting into trouble, you know, talking that smack, talking about vapes. It's going to be good times. It's going to be good times. How was your birthday? It was good, man. I was relaxing. I just chilled. I've been such a fucking uh, hectic person these past few months. So being able to just hang out and relax with my dad and watch football was awesome. Eat some cake. Got to eat. Kate cooked us some lobsters and some lobster mac and cheese. That was awesome. Talk more about the lobster. Ryan. What? Talk more about the lobster. It was good. It sounds like there were a lot of lobsters. Yeah. I ate one whole lobster. Claw. Tail. They were alive and I cooked them. Get out of here. No, it's I miss this. Um... This is why I don't do the show here anymore. But this is the whole reason why <laughs> I bought an office just to get away from this woman. Why? The the show's going to be on Mixler, right? I actually don't know. I don't. I haven't figured that out yet. I gotta figure that out pretty soon. Um, but it's gonna be so, it's gonna be somewhere on the website. So just you'll just keep an eye out on Facebook, and I'll have updates for it. Um, I don't care. How about that? When was your birthday? September 17th. September 17th. I am 27. I'm tw turned 27 on September 17th in 2017. That's my lucky year. No, it's my lucky year. On the 17th in 2017. I am 17. <laughs> 17 at heart. Don't you squawk? No, nah, not really. Not really. For no other reason than the fact that I just, I don't know. I don't, I just don't really. I would like to uh, squonk more. I, I think the reason is, is I have one squonker and I need to buy new squonk bottles for it. And I just haven't done it yet. I need to go get those super softs. Um, I do like it though. I, I love squonk. I like squonking, not the Hadley. I like squonking uh, the Narda. The Narda squonks really well. That's my daughter's birthday too. Oh, awesome. We share the same B day. That's sick. Yeah, September birthdays are always are always a good time. Cuz you're like coming out of the summer 
which sucks, but then it's your birthday, which is dope. I didn't think I was older than you, Wayne. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 99% of the vaping community is older than me. <laughs> At least in DIY. That's an old, it's an old man's game, huh? Is vape mania not happening? What is that? What's vape mania? Vape Adelphia? Uh, isn't vape mania like a convention? It is. Yeah, when is this? The 22nd to the 24th. Oh, you know who used to do vape mania? It was that guy. It was the guys who did that podcast, right? Remember that podcast? What was the name of that podcast? You guys know it was the guys who did that podcast. That's old. That's old school, man. That's old school, man. Vaping used to ha have so much content. It used to be like tons of different podcasts, tons of different things going on. Now it's like kind of boring. If you, if if I'm gonna be completely honest, vaping has gotten kind of boring. Just not excited about a lot of shit. Like, ooh, new K1 Prime. It's been like, or, or or the new Antheon, right? That's been like the most exciting thing that has happened in vaping so far. We just need to get more people excited about it. I think. I don't know. I'm having fun in DIY. That's all I know. Hey, can you recommend a cream cheese style of flavor more fresh and light than heavy? More like a cream cheese than a heavy cream? Uh, you could try Loran's cream cheese icing. You can try um, this frozen yogurt. Looks pretty promising. You can try um, New York cheesecake. For sure, New York cheesecake. I would try that one first. Are you looking into doing an international mix-off? Yeah, we're gonna bring back the the mix off. We gotta uh, you'll you'll see when we talk about it on the podcast. All competitions will be through the podcast. Hey Wayne, get down here to Australia. Bring your wisdom with you. I would love, absolutely love to come to Australia. I don't know what the interest is like for me to come down there, uh, but I would love to come come out there. I'm doing an interesting project, so maybe you will see me out there soon. Um, I'm not sure though. I, I, I don't know too much about Australian vape community. I don't know many people from Australia, like in terms of the industry. So that's, that's the problem with that, you know? When will we, when will Wayne release the rose milk recipe? I am not releasing it. You have to find it. You have to find the recipe. It's buried and hidden throughout my website and throughout my videos. Uh, I will say that not all ingredients are released, but a lot of them are, and I've released some more. There are ingredients out there. You got to look for them. The idea is that the more ingredients come in, the more that you can try to clone it, you know, and try to have fun and try to figure out the formula. The ones that have been found already are two. One, are two? Are the two ingredients that I think are the most essential to the recipe. So you can really play around with it from there and get pretty close to the recipe. But I will not be releasing it. Hopefully, I can release the last ingredients within the next couple weeks, I would say. I'm in no rush, but in the next couple weeks, weeks, all the ingredients will be out there for you guys to find. Your presence is large here online. Hey, man, if... if, if if there's like a convention or something going on in Australia and you guys want me to come out for sure, let me know and, I, and I'll see what I can do. I'll see if I can figure something out, maybe find a vendor I can tag along with. That's usually how I get out there. But that'd be cool for sure. I would love to do a fucking event, a mixing event. I don't know if there's interest in it. Now, I was talking to Graham about it and he thinks that a lot of people, a lot of people would come out. My My belief is that you're in DIY 99% because you want to save money. So you wouldn't really pay for a plane ticket, pay for a hotel to go to a convention about DIY. And I would get like, you know, other vendors. I would get, 
uh, a bunch of other mixers, like top mixers to speak and to kind of just hang out and give out their secrets and recipes. I think that would be fucking dope. And I would love to put that together. The question is, do you guys think it's dope? Do you, do you Would you guys actually come out to something like that? Because I'm not going to put it on and then, I, you know, 10, 15 people show up. That would look so bad. That would be so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not ready for that type of heartache. Uh, but hey, I mean, if the interest is there, fucking for sure I will do it. Can you recommend an RDA mod around 50 euro? I, I would say... I don't know, man. Here, let's look at the website. Let me help you out here, buddy. Let's go to Origin Vape. Let me help you out here, man. I'll help you out. All right. I'll do this for you. So, let's go look at the mods. That's what we'll do. You're going to want a regulated mod fucking for sure. Because if you go unregulated, it seems you're kind of a newbie. So, I don't want you going unregulated and blowing your hand off. We'll go regulated on it. And you can get some good regulated ones for cheap, man. Like, uh, these are a little too expensive. A little too expensive. Um, here we go. No, not that one. I don't want that one. Maybe Origin Vape's not the right place. I mean, it looks like if you're going to go regulated mod. Here, you can buy this one. There you go. You can buy the Smock Q Box, which is on sale right now. And then, here, I'll put this put this up for you there you go that's only 35 bucks it's gonna give you uh it's got a built-in battery so you don't got to spend money there um it's got temp control it's got tons of cool stuff there and then we can hook you up with the uh, rda let me see if i can find one that i recommend that's cheap what's this scrape dripper I've never seen that before. This is Faux Mestos, which is the K-Fun guys. That's their new dripper, which I've never seen either. All right, well, oh, here you go. You can get the Tsunami. That might help you out. I know a lot of people like the Tsunami. It's pretty cheap. 26 bucks on sale. There you go. Try that out, man. Just look for, like, uh, anything that's cheap, really. That's a really low budget. But I think you can. I think you can work it. I mean, you could even go old school and get something like... Get like a cheap, like kind of like uh, just get a, a cheap mod that goes up to at least 60, 70 watts and then regulated watts. And then uh, get like a, like an old, like I go W or, or something like from back, like a, like a, a Stellaire or a Plume Veil, like an old RDA. Cause you can get those for like five, 10 bucks, a Derringer, get a Derringer. That'll help you out. Don't get any of this new stuff yet. Go start with the old stuff. That's you're gonna get more out of it. It's just better. Excuse me. It's just a better value, man. Just better value. FA Vienna cream smells like fucking nail polish removal. Is that normal? Uh, I haven't noticed that. No, I haven't noticed that. When are you coming to Ireland? Hey, man. Same thing. Same thing with Australia. If you guys want me to come to Ireland, I need to hear some some people saying come to Ireland. You are the first person who has said that to me. So I'm assuming that there's not much interest for me to come there. I would fucking love to come to Ireland. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Australia and Ireland, both I would love to. Here, here's the three places that I would love to go to. Australia, Ireland, Sweden. Three places right there I want to go to. So if there's a DIY scene out there and you guys are interested, we could work something out. I'll come out there, I'll shoot a little doc, throw it up on YouTube, we'll talk mixing. Damn, sounds like a good time to me. No problem, but no problem, Zakin. Zakin, Zakin, Zakin. Are you thinking of checking out Grim Green's new RDA, the Recoil Rebel? Nah. Nah. Um, I, I like it. But I just don't think it's worth the purchase for me because I already have a recoil. You know what I'm saying? I already have a recoil. I already like the recoil. The only reason I would get this is that it has like that ring to kind of block, block. Uh, it's got that ring to block. Uh, what's it called? 
juice <laughs> from Lincoln. How much do they want for it? Six seventy bucks. Oh, sixty on or on vapor DNA. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's not really worth the purchase for me. So I'm gonna skip this one. If I ever lose my recoil or if it ever breaks or something, maybe I would buy, it, but that'd be the only case scenario. Just checked out my DIY son. I just launched JFM Development ML. I have crazy cool DIY plans. Nice, man. Let's take a look. I usually don't do this, but for you, I'll do it. For you, I'll do it, man. I like how you have a .ml. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. I've never seen that before. You got a little uh, little header that plays a video here. It's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. This is some promo here, so I expect a, a check in the mail after this video is done. I will say that this kind of scrolling thing is a little weird, but you got recommended products. Let's see what your recommended products are. There you go. There you go. I hope, the, I hope they're paying you, man. I hope they're paying you to put that up there. I mean, Dawn, Dawn you can put up, but... E-Cig Express, you better tell them to fork over some cash, dude. You know, free promo. Got some recipes. I like it, man. Nice. Let's check out your news and articles. I like it. You don't have any yet. It's okay. You don't have any flavor notes either. It's okay. You're getting there. You're putting You're putting in the work. I like to see that. I like to see that it's not a complete ripoff of DIY or die either. Because I've seen a site... Where it's an exact ripoff, a bootleg version of my site, and I don't like that. Yours is not. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I like how you're you're taking it into your own, buddy. Nice. It's a lot of work, ain't it? Wait till you start having to write. <laughs> it's a lot of fucking work. Wait until you have problems with security. Okay. I hope you have. I, let's see if your site is secure. Actually, I just want to make sure. Let's see. It is not. Your site is not secure. So you're going to need to go check out how to set that up for sure. For sure, you're going to have to oh, Thank you for the thank you for the uh the check there, JFM. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. But I will give you a piece of advice. Set up some security on your site. Otherwise, it's just going to be a huge headache. Trust me when I tell you that. That is something you're going to want to do. It's it's not too difficult. You can either pay someone to do it, uh, find someone who's in like IT and they can help you out because it's not just like basic security because right now you're an open target. It's reasons why a lot of these vaping sites get hit. It's because you get people who don't know how to put together websites, they've never done it before and then they start making money and all this money is unprotected and that's an easy way to get yourself beat up in, in terms of like a hack or something. When mixing with cap vanilla custard, should I stick with one or two flavors to start with EG, a butter pecan, and a type of cream, just feeling my way into recipe development? Yeah, exactly, exactly that. That's how you should do it for any recipe. That's how you should do it for any recipe. Start simple, start small, and then work your way up once you know more, more about the flavors. You don't want to just start whipping out 10, 12 different ingredients in a recipe because it's just going to taste like shit. Three, three ingredients, four ingredients with an enhancer like sweetener or ethyl maltol or some sour, some AP. That's where you should be starting. Don't don't worry about getting too crazy there, you know. What do you think about apple blueberry cheesecake flavored juice? How can I make? What, what do you think about apple blueberry cheesecake flavored juice? Uh, I think that's good. I, how do you make it? Well, apple blueberry actually might might not work as well as you'd think it would. It's kind of difficult. Those are two, like the apple either might take over the blueberry or vice versa. You might be able to get away with it. It's a lot of citrus in that recipe, and that's kind of going to hit your cheesecake a little bit. But it shouldn't be too difficult. It shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> There's no shade. There's no shade. 
I I am not a shade thrower. I am not a shade thrower. If I had any shade to throw, trust me, I would just throw it. It wouldn't be shade. It would just be a fucking blanket. Oof. Anyways, all right. That's it for today's live mixing, guys. I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't give you a full episode, uh, but I promise you I'm going to make up to you guys. Don't forget uh, In The Mix podcast next week. You should be getting a newsletter tonight or tomorrow morning, uh, depending on whenever it sends to you. Uh, if you're not signed up for the newsletter and you want to stay ahead of the curve in terms of mixing news, in terms of everything, go to my website and sign up for the newsletter. I'm spending a lot more time curating it where it's a lot where you just any kind of DIY stuff that's news gets sent to your email and that way you uh, you're already ahead of the curve you know everything it's free it's nothing you don't have to pay for the newsletter you can just sign up for it um but other than that yeah let's get out of here guys um I'll catch you guys I think tomorrow or Sunday and then you guys will see videos throughout the week you guys will see articles flavor notes everything else don't forget to head over to diy.vipping.com right down there in the corner Bang, hit that link. Well, it's not really a link, but just type that in your bar and, and go sign up. we we'll make an account. Uh, you can sign up for a membership if you want to help me out, if you want to support what I'm doing, if you want to stay ahead of the curve, if you want to be getting all those good research articles, if you want those those good extracted podcast episodes, if you want some new secrets coming up, if you want some flavor notes curated by me that I personally put together, go ahead and do that. Um... And other than that, yeah, I'll catch y'all later. Keep mixing. Much love. Bye, guys.